So today's video, I'm going in depth on basically figuring out your undertone. I'm going to be very detailed. So if you guys want to take notes, I would definitely recommend to take notes, but it's pretty simple. I'm pretty sure you guys can get it. I did briefly go through undertones in my highlight and contour video. I didn't go too much in depth, but I feel like I want to make a video where I'm kind of explaining how to figure out what your undertone is. Um, I was kind of telling you guys what I feel my undertone is, but I'm going to basically break it down step by step on what an undertone is. Um, and I do have a whole bunch of concealers that I'm going to pretty much show you guys the difference and how to successfully choose a concealer at the drugstore, at Sephora, Ulta, if you're in the States. Um, pretty much just how to confidently choose a concealer for your skin tone. So um, let's just get right so into it. So there are it. a few different tips or tricks that you can um, do to figure out your undertone. One being is looking at your veins in your wrist. So everyone, most people can see the veins in their wrist. Did I say wrist? Wrist to determine what kind of undertone you have. First of all, let me explain to you the three types of undertones. So there is a warm undertone, so that's yellow and golden um, colors. And then there's a cool undertone where it's more of like pinks and reds. And then there's a neutral undertone, which is a combination of the two. So I remember telling you guys, I think I'm neutral because some places I feel like I'm the combination of both. But anyways, we'll get into me in a second. There's warm, neutral, and cool. So what I was saying was you would want to figure out what color your veins are. So take a look at your wrist. Um, me personally, I could see that my veins are more of bluish green. So let me explain to you guys that. Um, so when you look at your veins, if you have a blue slash purple looking vein color, you're more of a cool undertone. If you have more of a blue slash green looking vein, you are a warm undertone. You cannot tell whether you are green or purple. Um, you will be most likely a neutral. So um, that is one tip that I would definitely recommend. Green, make sure to remember, is more of a warm undertone and purple is more of a cool undertone. So just take a look at your veins and see where it's leaning more towards. So that's another, so that's one trick. So like I was saying in my highlight and contour routine that your chest, your decollete, um, this honestly is where I judge how to highlight or find a shade that will best suit me. I feel like your chest is like pretty much, like you want your face to match your chest. Your face is cannot be, like as you guys can see now, I only have concealer on, I haven't highlighted or anything yet. Um, my face isn't matching my chest. Like my chest has, you could see different tones in my chest. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm able to really choose a concealer that will really match my chest. So I'm gonna start off with the LA Girl concealers only cause these are well-known concealers and you can pretty much find the perfect concealer shade in this. Like literally they have, I don't know how much shades, but they have, they must have your undertone shade within their their um, their concealer range. So um, I'm gonna show you guys pretty much off of these. So I have four different concealers here. I have the concealer in Fawn, which is my perfect one. I have it in Cool Tan. I have it in Toffee, and I have it in Warm Honey. So these are all, as you guys could see, around the same shade, but they all are different undertones. Okay. 
So before I show you guys the concealers, I'm gonna give you some key words that I feel you should look out for when picking a concealer and even a foundation. You will always see these key words because every brand uses these words. So if you are a warm undertone, your concealer or your foundation will use the words beige, golden, tan, chestnut. It's gonna use color, uh, names like that especially golden if you see like a golden brown or golden tan you know that's more of a warm concealer for cool undertones you're gonna see more of the words porcelain rose sable um, cocoa those are more of like cool undertone names that they will attach to their concealers or foundations and then for neutral you're gonna see more of the words ivory buff praline nude those are more of like neutral shades. So keep in mind um, what the concealer is saying because the concealer or the foundation will pretty much tell you what type of undertone it is, if that makes any sense. All right, so getting into these concealers, I'm going to do a swatch chest, I meant swatch, swatch chest a swatch on my chest and just show you guys the difference between these four and let me remind you they are all in the same kind of shade range so let me show you the first one which is my perfect undertone shade and this is fawn so i'm just gonna apply it here that's fawn okay I actually used to use toffee, but I feel like toffee is a little bit too neutral. Um, let me just show you toffee. That's toffee. Next is warm honey. That's warm honey. And then the last one is cool tan. So that's cool tan okay so looking at these concealers you can already rule out one or two <laughs> so the two that I'm gonna rule out is this one here which I believe was cool tan and this one here which I believe was warm honey these two are not in my shade range they will not work for me they're too light um, so I will definitely rule those two out let me just get rid of those so that leaves me with so that leaves me with fawn and toffee. So this is more yellow where this is more neutral. I would say this is definitely more neutral. Um, and then when you blend it out, so as you can see, when I blend it out, like this is super, I don't know if you guys could tell, like if you were to look at the two, which one would you choose? I'm more of this one just because it's more yellow and it does honestly blend into my chest so as you can see once I keep blending it literally disappears into my chest whereas this one like you can visibly see you could see that it's not my shade so and it's funny I used to use toffee so that's pretty much how you kind of see I would definitely recommend doing swatches on your chest because your chest will always uh, show you what concealer will work for you as a highlight shade. Another way to really choose a concealer is just choose a concealer that is your perfect match, like it is perfect, and then just go two to three shades down to find your highlight. But make sure that the two to three shades down highlight color is your undertone color, if that makes any sense. I'm really trying to explain this to you guys as simple as possible, but Anyways, let me clean this off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do one side with fawn and one side with toffee and just show you guys the difference. So I'm gonna apply fawn on this side. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. So this is how fawn blends out. As you guys could see, like it's not too light under my eyes, but it still gives me a like more dimension and it just brightens up my under eye. Um, and it's not doing too much. It literally matches my chest undertone. 
So now I'm gonna use um, toffee on this side and show you guys why it's important to figure out your undertone. Cause this may look like it's fine, but it's really not. So let me show you toffee. All right, so this is toffee and this is fawn. As you guys could see, toffee does give me a brighter under eye, um, which is good. You can always go for a brighter under eye. This is why I tell you guys I can get away with toffee, but it isn't my perfect undertone shade. Um, I will use it if I do want a brighter under eye, um, but if you look really closely, you can see that this is more lighter like it's not this it doesn't match my chest whereas this matches my chest it's more of a golden finish whereas this is more of a neutral finish so <laughs> I know I'm, I'm probably sounding crazy right now but I know what I'm talking about like I know um, so yeah it, you pretty much want to I would say the best thing to do is figure out the first thing to do when choosing a concealer is figure out your undertone so definitely do the veins trick there's actually a lot more other tricks to figure out your undertone I know one is what kind of jewelry flatters you more so if you wear more of gold then you're more of a warm undertone if you wear more of um, silver jewelry you're more of a cool tone if both of them flatter you equally like you could get away with both of them then you're probably a neutral so honestly there's a lot of different things that you can do to figure out your undertone also as well playing around in makeup just swatching doing swatches on your chest I would recommend um, and just really learning your skin so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the information that I know on undertones. I hope this video helped you guys. I tried to really give you some tips and tricks. I tried to show you receipts like I showed y'all. Um, so let me know if this video helped you out. Give this video a big thumbs up guys. If you're new as well, don't forget to subscribe guys. I upload Mondays, Thursdays, when do I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so three times a week, as you guys can see. Scroll down, y'all. You know I'm being consistent now, so scroll down. Like you guys will see that I am uploading three times a week. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, uh, let me know in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.